Have you ever wondered how the food that you eat is being raised? And maybe you've come up with a few questions of what exactly is being put on your food and what are the animals that you're eating, what are they actually eating? Hi, I'm Dr. Arland Hill and we've gotten a couple of these questions out here at Harvest Hills Ranch and I thought it was time for us to shoot a series of videos to give you complete transparency of how exactly we do things out here. And in this first video, I'm gonna start out with looking at our poultry operation. And that includes our broiler birds, which are our meat birds, and also includes our egg layers. Now, let me start off putting something out there. Do we raise our animals on pasture, on grass? Yes, we do. But there's something you need to know about that if you're not familiar with raising chickens, and that is, is that chickens cannot sustain their entire diet on grass alone. Something that you may not realize is that chickens are not herbivores. Chickens are actually omnivores. They don't just eat plants. Don't get me wrong, guys. They will happily indulge in some vegetables that we throw to them, and we do that as often as we can but we need to supplement along the way. And this is probably where you're gonna have the biggest questions of it. Well, what are you supplementing with? I, I did some digging on this before we actually got into a poultry operation to, sh to make sure we were meeting all the checklists that I personally had, which I think are going to keep be suitable for you as well and keep your peace of mind there. So let me start off. You'll see we've got several bags here. I've got two categories I'm gonna show you here. The first, is going to be our layer formula. So once our birds get to the point where they're actually starting to lay, our layer birds get to the point where, we, where they're starting to lay, we transition them over to the layer formula and I'll show you what we use up to that point in just a minute. But you'll notice a couple of things with this. First off, this is a non-GMO formulation. There are no genetically modified uh, or, or um, genetically modified organisms in this feed source. Um, it's also non-soy and it's also non-corn. I'm going to show you each one of these bags comes with a label of what's in it. I'm going to show you what's in this label. But notice also that there have been nutrients that have ad been added back in here, um, several different trace minerals, and these minerals are so important for the vitality and the health of the, of the chickens, and we use this with ducks also but it's so important for their vitality. So this is what we use, a layer formulation. This actually comes, if you wanna do a little more digging on this, this comes from Texas Natural Feeds is where we source this from. But it's non-GMO, non-soy, non-corn, and that's the layers. Now, what about for, for our meat birds and for the layers before they start laying? Well, for those guys, we use a little different formulation because when you've got all that growth growing on, you need more protein and you, as, and that's just kind of natural for us, right? As we're growing in muscle development, bone development, organ development, you just need more, you need more protein in the diet. So let me grab a bag here that's a little easier. You'll see on this one, this is a starter grower formulation. It's the same types of ingredients in here. No soy, no corn. Um, there's going to be things like um, Milo in here, um, which is non-GMO. Again, you've got the different nutrients, the minerals added in. So it's just that checklist of things that we want to see in the formulation, but also more importantly, things that we don't want to see. And one of the biggest concerns with standard raised poultry, where when it's being ran through a, like a chicken house, if you will, is that these feeds are genetically modified. There is soy, there is corn in there from genetically modified sources. There's going to be arsenic in there. Um, you also run the risk of um, incorporation of antibiotics. These birds are out on pasture. They're free ranging. You, there's no necessity. We don't keep them in a crowded area for that to be an issue for us in the first place. So, you know, just wanted to start here with this series of videos. We're gonna bring other ones to you to show you how we do it with all the animals and across the farm. But, you know, chickens, eggs are something that people like. And so we thought it'd be a good place to start here. So stay tuned for those other videos. And if you like the information, make sure you share it with someone. Let them know what they should be looking for in foods that they're eating and that are being raised for them. Thanks for listening, guys. Dr. Arland Hill.